did Jesus die on the cross to destroy God's law so that we would no longer have to earn our salvation by following God's commands? No, no, he did not. Nowhere in the Old Testament does it say that you could earn your salvation through works. It says even Abraham was justified through faith. And the Bible explains how his works were fruits of his faith. But so many people today think that that's what the covenant at Mount Sinai was. They think it was a covenant that God made where we were going to earn our salvation and then it didn't work out. So God changed his mind, changed the whole plan, and then came down to destroy his own law. And then just make up a new one with two commandments where you love gay people and you become gay yourself because that's love or something. You love, you encourage sin because it's, it's loving to encourage people to sin, I guess. But, um, a lawyer of the law, or one of the, one of the Pharisees went to Jesus and asked him, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus gave him two commandments. And what he did was he broke the law into two categories. He broke all of God's law into two categories. And the first category is love God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. And the second category is love your neighbor as yourself. Now, if you look at the uh, Ten Commandments, the first four have to do with loving God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. And the second half have to do with loving your neighbor as yourself. And then after this, after he explained his two commandments, he said, all the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. In other words, you cannot keep God's law, or you cannot keep Jesus' two commandments unless you keep all the law and the prophets. So these people that try to say that uh, they only follow Jesus' commandments and not God's commandments, which doesn't make sense to me because Jesus is God. They say, I only follow Jesus' one commandment because they don't even know that he broke them down into two. Or some of them will say they follow his two commandments. But if you're not following God's law, like anything in the Old Testament, if you're not following, like if you're breaking those commandments and disobeying God, then you're not keeping Jesus' two commandments. And then they go on to say, um, Jesus came to rebuke the Pharisees for following God's law. But there's not one example of this. They take examples where Jesus comes and rebukes the Pharisees for following man's law and trying to pass it off as God's law. Uh, there's a time in the Bible where um, they're sitting down to eat and everyone's doing the ceremonial washing of the, the hands, which was a tradition of the elders. And they say, Jesus, why aren't you washing your hands? Why aren't your disciples washing their hands? What's going on? And he says, that's not, that's not God's law. I'm not gonna... He refuses to wash his hands. Now, a lot of people say, see, he was uh, telling the Pharisees that God's law is done away with, and he's not going to do, he's not going to follow God's law anymore. He's rebuking the Pharisees for following God's law. No, he's rebuking the Pharisees for making up their own laws. Why would Jesus, who is God, come to rebuke people for following his own laws? That That's silly. Um, there's another time where Jesus is uh, healing people on the Sabbath. And the Pharisees rebuke him for healing people on the Sabbath. And people say, see, um, Jesus is God, so he doesn't have to keep the Sabbath. So he, he can heal people even though it's breaking the Sabbath. Where in the Bible does it say not to heal people on the Sabbath? Uh, the Sabbath is found in Exodus 20. That's where the Ten Commandments are. And the Sabbath is uh, Exodus 20, verse 8 through 11. Go read through that and tell me, where does it say you can't heal people on the Sabbath? See, people are adding to God's laws. I hear people saying like stuff like, yeah, now we uh, don't have to do stuff like some people won't hit the elevator button and... 
where where does it say that you can't hit an elevator button on the Sabbath? Or um, I've even heard of one guy that uh, rips his toilet paper uh, before Sabbath so that he doesn't have to do the work of ripping it. That it doesn't say that you got to rip your toilet paper ahead of time. That's uh, that's adding to God's law. That's not work. If uh, I never heard of a job where you get paid for ripping toilet paper. The Pharisees try to rebuke Jesus because he's talking in the field and he's, you know, he's just out traveling and he's talking to some people and he there's these grains in the field. So he picks them up and he starts, him and his disciples are breaking them with their hand and eating them. And the, and the Pharisees come and say, hey, you're working on the Sabbath. You're breaking grains with your hand and eating them. That's not breaking the Sabbath. That's not work. That's the equivalent of unpeeling a banana to eat it or unwrapping a candy bar. Go read it to Exodus 28 through 11. Does it say anything in there about not uh, not peeling a banana, not breaking grains with your hand to eat them? That's not work. If if somebody tried to go out and do that and break some grains and eat them and go to the farmer and say, Hey, I worked. I ate your grains. Would the farmer pay him for his labor? No, that's not work. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Um, like it and uh, subscribe. I might have more in the future, possibly. Uh, I encourage people to comment. Uh, 